911, what is your emergency? My name is Rick Walters. I'd like to report a dead body. What is your location? I'm several miles downstream near Rodare Gully on the Hillebrand Bayou, replied Rick. If you can send someone with a boat to the Steinhager boat ramp off of FM-365, I can lead them to the location. Okay, please hold, Mr. Waters, said the dispatcher. She came on the line again a moment later. Mr. Waters, we're sending an ambulance and a couple of Jefferson County deputies with a boat to the Steinhager boat ramp. Please keep your phone free in case they need to speak with you. I understand. I'll head back to the ramp and wait for the deputies. As Rick trekked back to his john boat and began to motor down the bayou, he mentally reviewed his morning and the odd chain of events that had led to his gruesome discovery that morning. His day had started like many others recently. A few hours earlier, he had slowly been awakened by the morning sun that had shone through the cloudy camper windows of the old Ford, catching dust particles in its beam. As the warmth from the dim light fell on his face, he remembered an aggressive mosquito had buzzed in his ear, and his mouth had felt as dry as the West Texas desert. His cockatoo, Chief, was rustling in his cage as well. Before bedding down, Rick had parked the truck by the boat launch just below the overpass on FM-365. He'd been playing pool at the Boudin hut into the wee hours and had won a couple of hundred bucks from some rednecks. Rick was a great pool player. Not a shark, but a well-rounded competitor. Up until a few months ago, he'd made his living as a baggage handler for Delta Airlines and had gotten bumped from station to station because of his lack of seniority. Most recently, he'd worked near Destin, Florida at the Okaloosa Regional Airport. But that didn't last long because he was bumped yet again by a senior ramp rat from Detroit who wanted to retire to the blue waters of Destin. Rick had never been good at keeping a job long term, so he'd taken the last of his money and hopped in his red 1962 Ford F-100 with his John boat and old two-stroke outboard in tow and driven back to Finette, Texas, where he was born and raised. There was no place like home, they said, but the muddy brown waters of the Hillebrandt Bayou sure made him long for a boat ride on the emerald blue waters over Crab Island back in Destin. Crab Island had been only a few feet above water, with a smattering of palm trees and salt grass, until Hurricane Eloise swallowed it up in 1974 and moved it knee-deep below the surface. It had become a favorite destination for locals and tourists alike, where they'd anchor boats of every size, stand waist-deep in the water, and drink beer all day. After reluctantly rising from his slumber, Rick had put Chief in his travel cage, placed him in the John boat, and launched it. He'd slowly motored down the slow-moving waters of the bayou near LaBelle, Texas, taking in the scenery with Chief. Several lazy gators basked in the warmth of the morning sun on the banks of the bayou. It had been a glorious start to the day. He kept his cockatoo in the cage. It was far too dangerous to let him ride in the open, since he'd make a nice tasty treat for a gator if he ever fell overboard. Rick was a jack-of-all-trades, a commercial diver, treasure hunter, fisherman, boat captain, and part-time detective. Logging water time on the barges and tugs in the Houston ship channel had qualified him for his captain's license, and he also did boat deliveries when the opportunities arose. He'd also obtained his PI license online and possessed a concealed carry permit in Florida that had reciprocity in 36 other states. A few cases here and there intrigued him, and he'd made a little money. With his license, permit, some tiny hidden surveillance cameras, and a field recorder, he was in business. He refused to take sleazy assignments, such as spying on spouses to see if they were cheating. That wasn't his style. Instead, he chose more ethical jobs, like helping to find missing persons or tracking down stolen vehicles. Rick liked to help people. He believed in karma and the old adage, do unto others as you would have them do unto you.